back up into the ring in just a moment or two for more exciting fucking action. Oh. Hello, Philip. You may be wondering why I'm reading a newspaper. I'll tell you. I don't know. They just beat me this. To be frank, I don't know the first thing about any of this wrestling shit. But what I do know is that you love your sweaty wrestle man. You love them more than you love me, Philip. Don't try to deny it. You spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on pictures of them, and you won't even give me the time of day. What do they got that I don't? Huh? Brain trauma? Penises as tanned and shriveled as a hot dog on a gas station roller? Well, you deserve better than that. And you could have had it. If you had given yourself to me willingly, I could have been gentle. I can be gentle, in theory. But no, you had to do this the hard way. When I told your manager Brian that I wanted to face off with you in the ring during Snortomania, he said something I'll never forget. He told me, Girl, you ain't got no arms. That was rude. I may not have arms. That was supposed to be in air quotes, but I have more than what it takes to wreck your meats. Before we're done, your entire meat market will be devastated. I may be cool and crisp, but make no mistake, I can put all of your meat products directly into the danger zone. So rub one out while you can, Philip. How? Leave the camera on for old time's sake. Because before that bell rings, it will be worn down to a bloody nubbin. Do they have bells in wrestling? I don't know. They also gave me this cup of coffee and this thing of creamer. Yes, I'm supposed to drink it. There. Now that's robust. <laughs>